News Channel 5 Network. This is Morning Line with Nick Barris. Good morning, everyone. Nick Barris here. It's Morning Line on a Tuesday. Good show on tap for you. Invite you to join in the conversation. If you'd like, we'll get the phone number up there. And we're going to be talking this morning about, there it is, Social Security questions. It's our monthly Social Security meeting with the man from the administration locally, Josh Horn, with a full beard. Good morning <laughs> to you, sir. Good morning. You recognize him. He's here getting ready for the fall. We like these cooler temperatures. Good mm. to have you on. Yeah, yeah. This time of year, things are rolling along, and as it is, usually Social Security just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. But there can always be some changes. The number again, 737-7587 if you have questions through the process. But first, I always like to ask you, what do you want to hit people with? Reminders, anything new? Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of things uh, to keep in mind about this time of year. One of them is uh, that October is actually a really busy month for the Social Security Administration. A lot of people don't think of it that way, but between fall break, you kind of you do have the beginning of the, 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 the fiscal year for the federal government. You've got uh, folks that are gearing up for the end of year that are trying to retire. So so just a lot of people coming in in October uh, that uh, are visiting us for one reason or another. It's probably uh, the uh, second busiest time of the year really? uh, for us, uh, generally speaking. And so, uh, again, if you are thinking about uh, coming in and, and uh, needing help with something, I recommend going ahead and coming on in now rather than waiting for October. Hmm. Uh, the other thing, though, to keep in mind is we have a lot of things that we can do online now. I know I may sound like a broken record, <laughs> but uh, I do recommend that folks uh, go on and establish their My Soul Security account and what's coming soon uh, we don't have a, a definite date yet but what's coming soon is that you are going to be able to get replacement social security cards online so we're working uh, and trying to get everything lined out with the uh, the DMV the, the motor department of motor vehicles so that we can get uh, uh, the verifications all, all uh, taken care of so that whenever you go under your my social security account uh, you can actually get a replacement card if you misplace lose it so that's so something so you would order on that it would be mailed or you can now get it and you can print it off. No, you, it would be mailed to you. You, mailed can, to you. you can go on there, you can fill Order out information, it. put your driver's license information in there, and then, uh, and then they'll mail it to you in about a week. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I assume that aside from the driver's license number, would there be other security measures to keep someone from getting your number? Or? Right. Well, the biggest thing is is that it's behind the My Soul Security okay. account, and so you know that's there's a right. lot of authentication that goes that's into that's that part of I it. Gotcha. And so um, that's probably the, bit, the big thing. And then the other thing is is that there's verifications with the, the your driver's license, so that we you know verify that part of it too. Yeah. No, yeah. Actually, that makes sense. I have one of those accounts. I yeah. opened it. It's pretty neat. It's just fun to look in there. Some well, of the stuff that you can see. It's just Interesting. Yeah, Kentucky, yeah. Uh, Mississippi, uh, several other states around have got it. Tennessee's uh, just kind of on the back end of this process, but it's coming soon. So I'm just uh, encourage folks to get ready for in it. In the past, if you had lost a card, you'd have to uh, just call in and put an At, order in. Really, you need to come in because we have to see your original driver's license in those circumstances. And unless you want to mail your driver's license to us, you'd want you'd have to actually physically come right. into the office, which is uh, you know inconvenient, uh, and uh, you know you have to take the time. And, and of course, we're you know we're open from nine to four and so you know it's right there during the middle of your day uh, so this way you can do it from the comfort of your home uh, so we're really looking forward and trust me I'll be talking a, a lot about it whenever um, oh, we sure. actually get it because I just feel like it's going to be uh, something great for uh, for you to be able to do that from your own home rather than having to, to get out and about. I think it's awesome. Um, aside from that um, let's get it out of the way because we're going to get a call and they're going to ask and they're going to say Josh can you tell me is there going to be the baby names? Oh, no, just kidding. Uh, the cost of living. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm you all along. Well, we get to baby uh, names in a second, but yeah, is there going to be a <laughs> Baby names will be until next That's year. That's a good but, one. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Uh, cost of living. Cost of living is uh, obviously a big topic. Uh, the increase, and, right. And usually we do have somebody call and ask about it every, uh, and because there's always a lot of talk in the news about whether we'll get a cost of living, not get a cost of living. They talk about it for six months before we actually find no, out no, whether we're no, going no. to or not. Uh, but we actually find out about that and usually in November. And usually you you'll hear about it about the same time I will because uh, when you know, as soon as as soon as they make a decision it's uh, pub, you know publicized and uh, and then of course we'll be talking about it on morning line as soon as I find out but yeah it usually comes in November after uh, Congress sits down and, and, and looks at the various factors and makes that decision okay yeah you know, I was just curious as I was thinking sitting here on the set 
Today is Patriots Day. It's 17 years since September 11th terrorist attack. I'm curious, you know, you work for a federal office. Are there acknowledgments within your department? I, I would imagine throughout the federal government in general, everyone's kind of aware of it. But oh, yeah. I just wonder with Social Security, um, you know, I, I saw there were live shots today, of course, outside the Pentagon. There's going to be an event in Pennsylvania where the plane crashed and, of course, in New York City. I'm just curious from working for the federal government, yeah. what kind of observations there are. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a, a couple of times a year the 9-11 the, uh, is, is obviously um, a big one, and then also the, uh, the Alfred Murrow, uh, the Oklahoma City bombing, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. are two times a year where, uh, you know, the, usually the federal offices will kind of take a minute and, and remember that a lot of the folks that, you know, lost their sure, lives were, right. were federal employees and then were, uh, you know, and then so we take that time and uh, we have the, the, a moment of silence uh, like a lot of Americans do and, uh, you know, we, we uh, usually have some emails and some things that we can read about uh, to remember <coughs> that. So definitely, we definitely take time as an office and, um, you know, along with the nation to remember that. Yeah, it's, it's amazing to me, folks, that 17 years, 17 years ago, I was sitting right here that morning. Mark Binda, our programming director, was here and we were talking about the new fall season for mm -hmm. CBS. That's that time of year. We're going to mm -hmm. do that again with Mark here in a couple of days. And I just remember we're sitting there and there's something going on in New York and they cut to some video and then they came back to us. It was before really things started happening, you know, completely. And then all of a sudden CBS just broke away mm -hmm. and we understood why. But while we were talking over it for a while, they were saying, well, we're getting this special report. And then it just stunned you into silence. Mm -hmm. And then they broke away to the coverage. I'll never, ever forget that day. And, uh, and uh, it's interesting, too, to think a lot of people out there driving with driver's licenses today mm -hmm. don't remember because they're young. My that's son right. was one year old at the time, and I can tell you that's something he and I talk about now. I don't I want the younger generation also never to forget that and to mm -hmm. remember what happened. So anyway, I thought I'd mention that. Uh, aside from that, um, the phone calls get busy as the show rolls along. 737-7587 if you want to join us. A bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, it's always calls. We already covered cost of living increase we don't know yet we'll let you know as soon as we know if that's an option but uh, you know you're in the process right now of applying for SSI um, are you thinking about taking early retirement and uh, getting into uh, your Social Security early are you wondering if you need an attorney to help you through the process all those types of questions you know it gets busy as the show moves along should we take the break now and then come back and you want to take a phone call Take a break real quick. We've got some lines coming in, but it gets busier through the show, so we've got lines open now. Jump in if you have a question for Josh on Social Security right after this. We'll be back.